how do living things like this tortoise or this pecan tree make more living things? Let's find out in this episode all about the two types of reproduction. Reproduction is the process of making new organisms. This happens when parent organisms reproduce to form new offspring. When organisms reproduce, they pass their genetic information to their offspring. This genetic information includes genes, which are pieces of hereditary material that affect an organism's inherited traits. How these genes combine and arrange form the blueprint for how the offspring will grow and develop. Most organisms that we are familiar with reproduce through a process called sexual reproduction. Sexual reproduction involves two parent organisms producing an offspring together. This means that the offspring will inherit half of their genes from one parent and half of their genes from the other parent. Let me explain in very simplified terms. We have parent organism number one here and parent organism number two here. These different colors represent different genes that make up each individual organism. When they reproduce, they can only pass on types of genes that they already have. So this parent couldn't pass on a pink colored gene because they don't have one, but this parent does. Through reproduction, these genes are passed on and end up in a new combination that may look like this. Sexual reproduction produces offspring that are genetically distinct or have a different combination of genes from each parent. Because of the way that genes are passed on, there are tons of different combinations that can be received from both parents. So this also means that offspring show a lot of genetic variation between siblings. Take a look at these cats, for example. You see one parent there with them, the black cat. These are her offspring. None of them are all black like her, and I think that's kind of rude, but you can't get mad at genetics. All of these kittens are siblings. Only two really look like each other. Here is what the other parent looks like. You can see that these two kittens look like this parent. Genetic variation goes way deeper than the appearance of an animal's fur. It is what makes sexually reproduced organisms genetically distinct from each other and gives the building blocks to who they are. Flowering plants reproduce sexually through a process called pollination. Mammals, birds, and most fish, insects, reptiles, and amphibians reproduce sexually, but this isn't the only way living things reproduce. If you're still here liking this video, hit that subscribe button so you never miss an episode. Some organisms reproduce asexually. The prefix a means without. So asexual reproduction is reproduction without this genetic recombination. During asexual reproduction, a single parent produces offspring. The offspring have the same genes and therefore the same inherited traits as the parent. This means that asexual reproduction produces offspring that are genetically identical to the parent. Or in other words, they have the same collection of genes like this. Remember before, we had two parent organisms contributing to the genes of an offspring. In asexual reproduction, there's only one parent. So we only have this one combination of genes to pass on to an offspring. You need all of this genetic information to function. So these are the genes that the offspring gets. So they look like this. Same genes, same combination, identical to the parent. Kind of like a copy machine. Oh. Various kinds of microorganisms, plants, and even animals are able to reproduce asexually. In many succulents, you can see little plants growing off their parent plant. These smaller versions have the same genes as their parent plant and can grow on their own if you remove them and plant them in soil. Some species of starfish can split into multiple parts. Those parts then grow into new starfish, and since they have the same genes, each new starfish is a clone of its original. Some animals can reproduce sexually, but also have the ability to reproduce asexually. Komodo dragons, 
Burmese pythons, and some species of shark, like the hammerhead shark, are just a few examples. Do some research and see if you can find some more examples. And if you want to learn more science, you can check out this video next. Oh yeah? You hear them? They're so upset. I hear you, squirrel.